Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had on a guest in the past, and I liked him so much I had to bring him on back. Um, so today's guest is Sonia Curtis, and she is a broker and the owner of S. Curtis Properties. Sonia, welcome to the show. Thanks, Adam. Thanks so much for having me back. Yes, yeah, so um, exciting to have you back, number one, and I am uh, excited to get into what you're doing uh, over at S. Curtis Properties and how you're helping your clients, um, and also to get further into, um, you know, things you're noticing in the market and real estate trends. Um, but before we do that, I don't want to assume that everybody uh, everybody heard the first episode. We recorded that a while ago, so for our new listeners, let's just start off with uh, giving us an overview of what you're doing at S. Curtis Properties. Sure. Well, um, I became a broker in 2016, and um, that came after doing real estate full time for about seven years. So it's about actually 10 years now that I've been working at full time in the Los Angeles area. I'm born and raised out here, and I've lived in a whole bunch of different areas. I've lived on the west side, I've lived in the valley, I've lived, you know, all over Santa Monica. So, um, that gives me an advantage in terms of knowing all the different local neighborhoods. And it's a residential real estate brokerage. Um, my biggest goal is to set myself apart in the market for a boutique brokerage that gives excellent customer service and that has the reputation of having integrity, honesty, and just, you know, to, to gain trust from my clients and take really good care of them. And that's that's what I'm focusing on right now. And so, um, uh, just for a, a go a little bit further, um, what what kind of areas do you work in? What kind of clients are typically your right fit, like uh, geography wise, all that good stuff? There's a joke in real estate. It's like we'll drive for commission. So, <laughs> and but this is a hold on. Okay. But this is a national show, so you're you're not driving that far. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I won't drive that far. But I would say I had a listing earlier this year out in Azusa to sell a mm -hmm. friend's condo, which is about, you know, in traffic, an hour, 15-minute drive. So I was driving an hour, 15, to, to sell that. And then and then he bought another place out in Simi Valley, which was another, like, a 45-minute drive the other way. So, you know, I, I was driving all over um, from Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, Woodland Hills, to out to um, Azusa. And I've sold properties in downtown L.A., um, in West Hollywood. I currently have a listing. I would love to stay closer to where I live. I currently am in Sherman Oaks. My office is Studio City address, which are very close. And um, I love Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills, Studio City, Sherman Oaks. Those, I think, are my favorite areas. Universal City, Toluca Lake, um, Burbank, and Encino. Those are all the smaller areas um, in the greater Los Angeles area that are kind of closer to where I live. So I like those areas. <laughs> but I and, will uh, drive for commission. That's that's the thing. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and I think that sets a good stage for um, for a good transition. So let's get into uh, real estate market trends and just things you're noticing in your preferred areas. Um, it's interesting because people always ask, you know, is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? And uh, I say it's both right now um, mm -hmm. because there's a, a housing shortage in Los Angeles, in California, especially Los Angeles. So, and there's a supply issue. You know, a lot of people have demand for houses out here, but there's a lower supply. So uh, if you have a nice property that's been redone, that's turnkey is the word, like it's ready to move in, um, that's done really tastefully and freshened up, that may get multiple offers and can then be considered a seller's market. You know, but then if you have an older home or a, a kind of a run, more run down or outdated place um, that needs a lot of work, 
it can sit on the market for a longer time, which will then bring down the price over time, and then that would be considered a buyer's market. So it's both, depending on the type of property and the area, whether it's in demand or not. Um, in general, prices have been holding pretty strong. They were still kind of going up, um, even up to the end of last year. And I'm not sure where we're at yet this month. It looks like they're they're staying they're staying pretty strong, but we are up high. The the you know we're pushing a ceiling financially because you know there's only so much people will pay to live here. And then there's also a mass exodus. A lot of people are moving out of California because there's so many taxes and um, it's just it's not a cheap place to live. And a lot of people are you know especially if they own here. They're selling their places to downsize um, financially and to, to move to another state where you can buy, you know, a really nice, totally brand new place for 300000 If they sell their place for 600 here or 800 you know, they can walk away with a nice chunk of cash and have a brand new house. So, unfortunately, people are leaving California. I can help them sell. <laughs> um, but there are always people coming here as well because of the entertainment industry and all the tech. You know, in California, there's all the, the tech uh, giants out here. Well, I live five blocks from the pier, and let me tell you, I don't see any, in Santa Monica, and I don't see any uh, I don't see any decrease in the traffic. So if they're leaving, they're not leaving right here. I'll tell you that because I feel well, like exactly. it's going up and up depending on where you're at. Well, because there's only so much beach, right? It's like that's a supply and demand. People want to live at the beach, and they want to be near the ocean, and there's a strip of land along the beach. So, you know, it's not gonna, we're not getting any more land. So, um, but we are getting more people. So, and that is why I always have been an advocate to be in real estate because it's something I really believe in. I believe it's an investment um, for the long haul. You know, most people when they own property and they're ready to retire, that's their big nest egg, you know? And it's a nice thing to have in combination with an IRA or, you know, 401k retirement account. Um, plus we have to live somewhere. So you're either paying the man big rents or you're going to own your own house out outright one day if you just keep on making the mortgage, you know? Mm, yeah, no, definitely. What about uh, investment properties in L.A.? Have you, have you done any of that lately? Not as many. Um, with Airbnb, they, they changed the law, unfortunately. See, a lot of people were buying um, – apartments and houses that they were using on Airbnb and the profit was so good that it was keeping things moving. But when they restricted Airbnb um, to, you know, they really changed the law. Um, there are a lot of property owners that now have to do the old fashioned, just find a tenant, you know, and get them locked in. And there's just, there's a lot, there's a lot of liability with it. Um, I think what I'm seeing more uh, is just investors that want to buy multiple family um, plots, you know, either like a single family house is on it, but it's zoned R3, which means that they can build a duplex or a triplex or, you know, fiveplex, whatever. And then they're, they're buying the land, they're building, you know, where they can have five units and then they'll sell it for way more so their profit is high um so they're doing that either for condos or for apartments if they're if they buy apartment buildings they usually are holding them and then they're you know renting those out but um there's also a big issue with rent control um any property built before 1978 is under rent control and so what that means is that there was tenants that have lived there for sometimes 20 or 30 years and they're paying rent that is so below market value that investors are not excited to buy that property because they're not they're going to lose money actually by the time they pay you know for the property and any upgrades um they're really not even going to be making anything they'll be losing so there's been big battles over that uh politically over um ending rent control and uh, I don't think they should end it because I do think there has to be some restriction on, on rent. I think rents are, are ridiculous high here. But uh, it's just made it kind of harder for people to make their profits. So there's, that's why it's not as hot as it was. So, Sonia, if somebody's listening to this and they're looking for um, property in the Southern California area or they want more information on real estate trends and what's going on, 
Um, what's the best way for them to reach out and get that info from you? They can check out my website, um, Sonia Curtis, or yeah, S. Curtis Properties. Sorry, I'm Sonia Curtis, and the, the website is scurtisproperties.com. And then I'm also on LinkedIn um, with S. Curtis Properties, and I have a Facebook page, S. Curtis Properties. My Twitter account is S. Curtis Prop. <laughs> so there's multiple ways to reach out. I love it. Um, so, Sonia, hey, I really appreciate you coming on the show today, and it's been so good to catch up with you. And uh, and thank you for the update on what's going on in, uh, in SoCal in real estate. So thanks for that. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, without you, there's no show. Keep listening. Uh, that being said, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the podcast. Also, we launched a YouTube channel this year. Um, go give that a subscribe also. Leave us some comments in the, in the comment section if you have uh, any comments on what's going on in SoCal real estate. Um, and, Sonia, thanks again for coming on the show. Thanks so much for having me, Adam. Have a good day.